G'day, my name is Graham Murphy. I'm a product manager here at Tech Reynolds. Now I'm just going to have a look. We've done I've done two videos on using the NNG Analyzer Plus software with a Fluke 1738. This is the third in the series. Just going to look at it is if, if you're using multiple 1738s. Now, if you're using multiple 1738s and you need to combine all the data on a single report, now what you'll need to do is you need to turn around and there's a synchronized time function. Uh, you would connect each of the 1738s via USB and synchronize the time on them all, so the time is in sync. Now, uh, in order to get this software running, if you've got an IT department, you may need to talk to the IT department about getting the driver installed, etc., etc. Because uh, if you don't have admin rights, sometimes it's difficult installing drivers. Anyway, on my previous video, I had created um, this. Um, uh, downloaded this data um, and installed it. Now I've got a, a information which was recorded approximately the same time. It doesn't completely overlap, but it partially overlaps. Anyway, I'm going to start off with the newer information, so I'm going to open it here. Now it just turns out that the uh, here's I've, I've downloaded the data using the usual method. So here's my removable drive, 1738. Now, under this session here, this one here, um, I open this, and I'm going to, um, again, it asks me. Now, I can put client um, subboard, etc., etc., um, you know, whatever you need to. Anyway, now, um, again, we look over here, there's not very much data in here. Uh, it's only a little quick short recording, but what I can do over here, not along the top, not there, but again up the side here, add data. Now, I can now add data from the previous recording. Now we have both of them up here, and again we can drop both into the reports, whatever we need to, but also we can actually look at the graphs and we can combine the data over here. You can see we've got the results of both loggers on here. Now, here is this bit here is the second logger, and this is the first logger. Now, to zoom in on this part, now if we right click and we can auto fit that scale, well, that's the first logger. Uh, now we right click the bottom one, auto scale, and we, ah, oh, damn it, hang on. What we can do, we can highlight it like this. This will zoom in. There we go. So here's the results from. Uh, hang on, where is logger one? There we go, logger one. And I haven't got the first, the, the results from the second logger there. Hang on a sec, I've just got to find it. Ah, there it is there. This, this is the data from the second logger. I managed to then auto scale correctly, which I was trying to do before. Anyway, so I can turn that on and off. And I can turn the main one on off. See if we make the main one. Here's our power readings of the second logger. As you can see, it's rubbish readings, etc. But we're able to now. If I want to turn around and change the color of this, I can change the color of that graph to something else. Make it a bit sort of a little different. Okay. So there's our second graph. And again, I can add that as a bookmark. We can come around, and if you have a look at here, for example, amongst the events, uh, you'll notice the one of these doesn't have any events, one of these reports. So we can turn around and just simply add the results from a dozen different loggers and produce our report as we did before. And also, if you need to, again, convert that PDF report to a uh, uh, a docx file and edit it and do what you need to. So it's, it's all pretty simple and if you want to here one can also um, under this configure here we can turn around and select information from both loggers and export when we go OK with that now that puts ridiculous number of graphs up here, but if we want to have a look at the 
readings, when we pull this down here, right, we can put minus to make that disappear if we want to, or plus. So we can actually, so these, these are little sort of opening windows. Now, this is a lot of data. There's with both loggers, etc. Now I can right click on this and I can export that uh, as a comma separated file. And so we can hit save. And that data, which is from both loggers, um, is now exported. So I can add 10 loggers to this and have the results and do whatever analysis and export the data and have all the time stamps all lined up, which again underlines why it's very important to synchronize the time on the loggers before you start up this whole thing. If the, the, the times on the loggers aren't um, synchronized, um, you know, doing this process isn't, doesn't really make sense. So, relatively simple to do. This software is a lot more powerful than it looks. It's quite a good little reporting package. Thank you very much.